Hello, and welcome to the fourth and final short video about the Kellogg and Third Street Bridge Replacement Project. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about this exciting improvement project coming to St. Paul. In this video, you will learn about the potential aesthetic improvements being considered for the new bridge. Why are aesthetics important for a bridge? Leverages infrastructure investment to create more livable and inviting public spaces. Makes the city a desirable place to live, work, and visit promotes St. Paul's identity as a livable and creative city. How are aesthetics incorporated? The project team involves artists from the earliest stages of conceptual planning to gather and incorporate creative aesthetic themes into the project design. The goal of this collaborative process is to integrate expressive character into parts of the bridge like the railings, support beams, and sidewalks. The Kellogg Third Street Bridge Project has contracted with local artist Setu Jones. Setu has broad experience with large public arts projects throughout the Twin Cities area. Setu, in collaboration with landscape architects from SRF Consulting, has worked to incorporate aesthetic enhancements into elements such as bridge forms, railings, pavements, murals, and interpretive signage. As part of this collaboration, five themes were identified along the length of the bridge. These themes included the downtown and lower town area at the west side of the project, the railroad and industrial areas that pass under the bridge, the nature sanctuary and lower Phelan Creek that lies to the south, the proposed walk-on teepee center that will be located in the Bruce Vento Nature Sanctuary, and the river bluff geology present at the east end of the project. In late 2020, the Kellogg Bridge team held a collaborative session with members of the Lower Phelan Creek Project to ensure that the bridge was aesthetically compatible with the group's vision for the Wacon Teepee Center, which will lie south of the bridge. The river valley and bluffs are a place of spiritual significance to the Dakota people, and the project is striving to create an expressive design that honors that. From this collaboration, the symbol of Kapemni emerged as a guiding aesthetic influence for how the reconstructed bridge will relate to the ground below. Kapemni is a Dakota symbol representing whirlwinds mirroring and the relationship of above and below. It is expressed through variations of an inverted triangle design. The bridge piers are the vertical supports that will carry the bridge deck and beams. Inspired by the Kapemni symbol's bold graphic character, the bridge pier form is uplifting and spreading. It is both angular and organic, and the series of piers along the length of the bridge will range from approximately 20 feet to 50 feet tall, depending on the clearance between the bridge and the ground below. The new bridge height will be approximately the same as it is today. There will be pedestrian and bicycle trails on both sides of the bridge deck, improving connectivity and affording expansive views of the surroundings. Within the Bruce Vento Nature Sanctuary, the new piers will be spaced further apart than the existing bridge to create a more open environment. Visitors to the sanctuary trails and future walk-on teepee center will see the bridge from this lower vantage point. The bridge will also be highly visible when traveling along Interstate 94, which will pass by the east abutment where the bridge is supported. Seen straight on in this view, the proposed design of the abutment walls uses a random vertical texture which will complement the other adjacent bridges present within the I-94 corridor. Seen from the side in this view, the vertical texture wraps the wing wall where the bridge embeds in the embankment near Mounds Boulevard. The slope will be restored with a mix of native grasses. Continuous lighting along the bridge will be achieved using the city's traditional lantern-style light poles. At the outer edges of the bridge deck, the bridge trails will have ornamental railings for fall protection. This view from the proposed bridge trail looking west towards downtown and River Valley beyond illustrates the base ornamental railing design, decorative lighting, and the protective barrier for pedestrians and bicyclists adjacent traffic. The design team identified several locations where unique vantage points to the surroundings could be enhanced through art and interpretation of the cultural and natural themes noted previously. The railing concepts above utilize the city's traditional post and picket design along the full length of the bridge as a base. The figures above show the scale of the concrete barrier and required railing heights as the bridge passes over the various features like the railroad or the freeway. At specific vantage points, unique artist designed panels or imprints in the concrete barrier or customized patterns in the metal railing could be incorporated to celebrate the natural themes noted previously. We are looking for your input to help guide the project artist as the design takes form. Please take some time to provide feedback within the input survey located on the project's webpage. 
Thank you for watching Project Video Module 4. Be sure to check out the project website to access the other modules.